Back, a Granby teenager is heading to Disney, but not for a vacation. He stood out among thousands of high school students across the country, hoping to get accepted into the Disney Dreamers Academy. So let's go ahead and introduce you guys to the dreamer himself, James Crocker. And we have Elizabeth Wilson with the Craig Academy of Science and Innovation. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us on. Yeah, so excited to have you guys here. James, it's not your first rodeo here on the Fox 61 Morning <laughs> <No>. News. <laughs> so let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, James, tell us about the Disney Dreamers. Dreamers Academy. Uh, what is it involved in? How are you discovered? Yeah, so it's this four-day program run by Walt Disney World and it takes high schoolers from all across the United States and we get together for this leadership conference. We get to meet celebrities. Last year they'd Hal Bailey and so oh, nice. it's this it's this nice vacation but it also prepares us for a future and it's really aimed towards dreamers. So people who are achieving big things in high school and who are dreaming, you know, of excelling in their career. Now what was your reaction? Action once you found out that you were accepted into the program. Oh, it was such a shock. Let me tell you. <laughs> I found out December 23rd, so two days before Christmas. Oh, and it was like, awesome. It was like this perfect Christmas present for myself, I yeah. would say. Like, I really felt proud of all my achievements in that moment. I knew that that got me there. And so I was really excited when I found out. And I'm more excited now because there's actually this group chat full of the other accepted students for the class of 2024. And they all just seem like such amazing students who are all paving the way in their own um, career form. So I'm I'm very excited for that. I've never been to any of the Disney theme parks before. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so it's going to be very fun. I'm excited for all of that. I'm excited for the rides as well. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> awesome. Okay, great stuff. Now, Elizabeth, how do you feel Crack helped James, you know, really just get into everything that he's involved with and get prepared to be recognized? So, ultimately, even though we're a STEM school, that may not necessarily always be the path that our students are on. And James has expressed um, a lot of interesting interest, excuse me, in PR and marketing. Mm -hmm. And so when he came to us saying that he had, you know, wound up getting this opportunity, we absolutely just told him to explore it and let us know how we could support him. Awesome. And it's so nice that I'm sure to have you here supporting him right now, <laughs> just knowing that the school is behind you. Absolutely. Now, James, you are a young person, but you are very involved in the community. You have uh, letter writing for elders and you are also involved with the Granby Pride event. Tell us a little bit about both of those. Yeah. So I started Letters for Our Elders back in 2020 and it was really just a solo thing at the time. After seeing my late grandfather, who was in his senior home in 2019, after seeing what the situation there was a lot of loneliness, there was a lot of disconnect, and they didn't receive a lot of visitors, so I could only imagine that it got worse during mm -hmm. the pandemic. So that inspired me to start writing to one of my friend's grandparents, and then a few more friends joined on, and now it's become this really big effort, and we've had, we've sent over thousands of letters awesome. and birthday cards to senior home residents in Connecticut, and I'm really excited now that it's really become recognized, loneliness has become recognized as an epidemic yes. in this country, it was declared by the U.S. Surgeon General. The Lieutenant Governor Nurse Susan Bysowitz of Connecticut. She actually is working with me on her social connection campaign. And I'm very excited to announce that we actually have a letter writing event at the Capitol on oh. April 9th. So two days after I get back from the Disney okay. Dreamers Academy. <laughs> so it's definitely going to be tired. Um, but so I'm very excited. I hope that we'll bring some more awareness to the issue and hopefully get some amazing letters and cards written for the senior home residents. Awesome. How can people get involved with the uh, letter writing event at the Capitol? Yes. Yeah, so it's April 9th. It's at 11 a.m. and it'll run until about 1230. So if you want to stop by, it's open to the public. Feel free to write a letter or decorate a card. And that's going to be sent home to some of our partner senior homes. But if you're not able to make it, you can always go to lfoe-ct.org. And that's our new official website. And you can find out our volunteer database. You can sign up there. You can also sign up if you're a senior home and you're interested. Or if you're interested in signing your grandparent up for the program, you can all do that at that website. Awesome, awesome. There's just something cool about getting old-fashioned snail mail, you know? Absolutely. And I feel like it's <laughs> it's a great way for teenagers like me to disconnect, you know, to really yes. turn off our phones, get to letter writing and work on that. And, you know, it's something that I encourage everyone to do. Even if it's just creating a few letters, it'll take maybe 30 minutes out of your day. Yeah. And it really changes a person's day, really changes a senior home resident's day. They really makes them happy. All right. Now, we do have to head out in just a second. But really quickly, can you let our viewers know how they can find out more about the Pride event that's coming up? Yeah. So um, if you want to learn more about Granby Pride, I suggest you go to the other interview we did in 
in fall for National Coming Out Day. But um, so we're hosting our second LGBTQ Pride event this June, June 30th, um, on a Sunday from 12 to 5. It's, this t year it's called Small Town Pride, mm -hmm. and we're looking to celebrate the small town LGBTQ efforts, you know, to increase inclusion yeah. in Granby, East Granby, Heartland, Suffield, all those greater Hartford towns. So I'm really excited for that. It's going to be a bigger event this year. Awesome. Well, we are so proud of you, and I hope you have a ton of fun and enjoy the Disney parks. Absolutely. <laughs> and the weather, I heard, is going to be much better than it is here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining us.